Uh, good morning to you. Do you think you have to work full time to make a success of your career? Traditionally, that might have been the case. Of course, try to look keen, ambitious, willing to go the extra mile and put in the extra hours. But that is slowly changing, it seems. Official data by the flexible working consultancy TimeWise shows that the number of people earning more than £40,000 a year and working part-time has gone up by more than 50% in the last eight years. It suggests that about a million people in senior or manager level jobs now are able to work part time. Well, one of those is Mark Noor. He's the chief executive of the media agency Maroma, and he does work for four days a week. Mark, morning to you. Um, some of those issues I touched on at the start there are real concerns for many people. Most people would love to work four days a week, but they think, look, maybe I'm not going to look like I'm keen or ambitious or I don't want to progress. But you managed to navigate that in your business. I did, yes. Give me a sense of two, what, two years ago you went part-time, you went to your four days a week. What has that allowed you to do? I think there were two drivers for that. One was I had other things that I wanted to do. I'm lucky enough to be chairman of a charity, JW3. And I got very involved in, uh, in our industry body in advertising, the, uh, the IPA. Um, so I wanted to, uh, to divers diversify my inputs, if you like. And the other thing is... I came to the conclusion that I was most effective if I had some time to think, some time to reflect, some time to learn, some time to be more creative, and that required me being away from the office and not obliged to be in an office. So for me, that solution was a four-day-a-week contract. Do you worry that things happen in the office that you are not part of? On that fifth day when some of your staff, some of your colleagues are there and you are not, is that not a challenge as the boss? I hope there are things that happen when I'm not there. Um, uh, I hope there are things that are happening right now because I'm not there. Uh, if you have a great senior leadership team, that's what you expect them to do, to get on with it. Um, we talked about younger, may, maybe more junior staff that are working their way up through the business. Um, you know, it's all well and good. You're the boss. You can do it. You did it two years ago, having got to that position. What if you're a, a junior member of staff thinking, I need to prove to you, Mark, as my boss, that I'm keen and I'm willing to progress. But actually, I don't want to do four days a week. I think it's a great question. Um, and listen, I think there's a contract, if you like, an informal contract. People have to show up. People have to be professional. People have to, uh, to perform. Uh, and if they do, and they think there's a more effective form of working, and by the way, for me, that's about flexible working, not necessarily about part-time working. There are many ways to work flexibly. It could be the time you get in. It could be about your location. It could be how you work. Then I think that that's a conversation you should definitely have with your employer. And I think any enlightened employer should be at least open to having that conversation. Yeah, and the key point there, though, is an en enlightened employer. Not all businesses will lend themselves that. Not all businesses will want to. Uh, and I suppose it's about the culture. If everybody's doing it, great. You don't think that you're missing out. But if you're the only one doing four days, you might think stuff's happening, but you're just not part of. I, I think you're absolutely right. Then I guess this is why this is a story. Um, you know, there are now chief execs, many of them, who are now doing this. It seemed perhaps impossible a few years ago. But look at the pace of technological change. Look at the fact that if we're not careful, we are always on. We are always present. Our office was, is with us uh, wherever we are. This is dangerous. We've got to be really clear about what makes us most productive as employees. And as employers, we've got to be switched onto that as well and be open and be prepared to have that conversation if we want a high-performing workforce. Yeah, and that's what it boils down to, doesn't it? That work-life balance. Mark, thank you. It's good to talk to you. Mark Noah there, the chief executive of the media agency Maroma.